So, a resting position when performing kettlebell movements is the front rack position. Now, when we're in the front rack position, it's very important that we allow the kettlebell to control or align with our midline. So, if you can imagine that I'm splitting my body in two halves and that there is a line running straight through the center of my body, then I want my thumb in the center of that line. So for a reference point, always think of the cue, your thumb is on your sternum. So now the kettlebell will rest between my bicep and my forearm. That's my front rack position. If I start to deviate laterally to the side, then what's going to happen is it's going to place a tremendous amount of stress on that shoulder girdle and it's going to become an awful lot more difficult to actually rest in that position. The other thing I see a lot of people doing is they actually throw the kettlebell up in the shoulder and they lift the tricep parallel to the floor like this and again that's a very inefficient position to rest the kettlebell in. So, thumb and sternum, bicep and forearm are where the kettlebell sits and from here my elbow rests on my iliac. So I can actually rest in this position. This is the position from which I can perform a jerk, a press, a squat, a lunge when I'm going for and um, more endurance sets or standalone sets if you're asked to perform those movements. Please, when we perform these movements, don't be out here, don't be up here resting. Always try and get to this central position. And again, from here when we're pressing, we're pressing through the midline. When we're squatting, we're controlling that midline all the time. That's a very, very important concept to understand. So that front wrap position, just to recap, thumb on sternum, elbow on iliac, kettlebell rest between bicep and forearm, and this is our front rack position.